right, everybody. Today is May 13th, 2021. And as always, welcome back to South Dakota. We're not at the farm today. We are back out by Lake Preston. We're actually north of Hetland right now with my buddy Jonah. He's back there rolling some corn stubble, which is now planted into soybeans. Now, I was planning on doing a planting video for these guys, but unfortunately, they just finished maybe an hour or two before I showed up. So, but Jonah is out here rolling still. And uh, when I get in the cab with him, I'll uh, kind of have him talk about what rolling does for them and kind of how they use it. And uh, obviously, if you look, they no-till as well. So I'll kind of have them talk about their operation. And you can kind of get a feel for why they are rolling over soybean seeds. I'll get to that later in the video. Right now, I am going to head over and fly the drone if uh, the wind doesn't blow it away. And uh, later on in the field, I'll hop back in the cab and we can talk to Jonah about their operation. So, without further ado, let's get going. Soil breaking up 
conventional. Um, no till is basically on par with grass. It's almost amazing that that uh, that ground is. I mean, that conventional till soil is almost dry. Yeah. Um, and the no till is still. It, it just holds that moisture in a heavier soil. Um, it packs real hard, but like up in Minnesota. Um, you know, they, they, they have to do some kind of tillage, um, otherwise their soil just, it just doesn't work. Uh, they're just not going to get good emergence. And like around here we have about perfect silky clay type mix um, that works for us over by you guys. I mean, you have all those hills and stuff, so it's just yeah. a little... Yeah, we got more hills. A little different. Um, yep. It's, it's kind of a 50-50 if people run terraces. I notice like it's like half and half in our area. Some guys run no-till, some guys don't. So why do you guys roll uh, your soybeans? What, what's the advantage in that? Um, corn ground, you put soybeans into. Beans on corn, people call it. If you don't roll it, you can get away with not rolling it, but you're not gonna have good emergence. And you think about how low you cut beans. You have all these stock. I mean, you're just going to be pulling that into the combine. And, yep. Um, and you're just, I mean, it just, it's more about improving your yields is what it comes down to. Right. Okay. Um, and there's guys, plenty of guys that do minimal till or, you know, full till and they still yep. roll their beans just because it gives it. Beans are a little more temperamental. Um, our no till beans don't usually do quite as well compared to conventional till beans just because. You know, there's more trash. You don't always get the best emergence yeah. through the soil because of that the top layer of stuff. I got you. Um, which isn't which isn't the end of the world. I mean, we still have good beans. Um, it's just you know, a guy doing full tillage. They're, they're, you're starting with a, a blank slate. Big deal. My prediction is it's only going to catch on more. You know, over the yeah. years and years and years. The biggest advantage, you know, as far as machinery goes, is guys running, you know, 45 foot uh, rippers, 450, 500, 600 horsepower machines. And I mean, the biggest tractor we have on the farm is a little over 200 horsepower. And it's just, yep. you're saving money there too. I got you. Goodbye. See ya. Thanks for the bumpy ride. <laughs> I don't know how you red guys do it every day. Holy cow. Well, there he is getting ready to go. So that was the last of their fields. Uh, Jonah just finished their land. He's gonna go over and help another farmer. So he's gonna go uh, start rolling his land, get back to it, and uh, I think that's all he's gonna do for a while. So that'll do it for this video, probably the last planting video. Thanks for sticking around for the whole series, guys. I really do appreciate it. And I hope you like some red equipment on the channel. It's kinda nice to see that now, cause I got a red pickup. But uh, yeah, that'll be it. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next video.